I was in the stage of uncertainty. Um, I was then in my very early 30s, so maybe I was too young for a midlife crisis, or maybe I just got the midlife crisis earlier than some people. Um, but uh, and I was probably depressed um, because of this, or just in general. And I wasn't sure where to go. I called the Rebbe. I got through immediately to the Gabbai. And in the background, he answered the phone. Oh, hello, who's this? In English, if I'm not mistaken. And the Rebbe said from the distance, I know it was the Rebbe's voice, because I knew the Rebbe's voice, Veruf um, Reret. Um, so he asked me, Veruft. <laughs> so I said, Ich bin Ayid from Maryland, from Silver Spring, Maryland. Uh, why are you calling? I didn't say my name. Uh, he says, Why are you calling? So I told him, I have questions about uh, uh, my, my decisions I have to make about my career. I spoke to him in English uh, about my career. I have questions in Emuna. I'm a person with many, many questions. I'm in a very, very uncertain stage of my life. And I, I would like to ask the Rebbe certain questions about decisions I have to make. I use the word uncertainty and decisions. So as I was talking, the, the Gabba was like paraphrasing what I was saying on the phone. I imagine so that the Rebbe should hear. He's saying, oh, decisions, Vagnamuna, and professional choices, things like that. And I could hear the Rebbe say in the background, Zogim Azes is do Ayid in Maryland, Suvemen uh, Ezol Redden, and the Yid Heist Weinreb. So the Rebbe Kabbai said to me, Did you overhear what the Rebbe said? I didn't believe my ears, all right, because I knew for sure I didn't say my name. I wasn't going to say my name uh, unless I was directly asked. No one ever asked, what's your name? Um, so he said, did you hear what the Rebbe said? So I said, no. <laughs> I wanted to hear it again. So he said, the Rebbe said that there's a, a and he, he said, he quoted the Rebbe verbatim in Yiddish, I says to Ayid in Maryland, so I told the Gabbai, my nomen is Weinreb. So I heard the Rebbe say, And the Gabbai then was like stunned. Stunned. I mean, you can hear, he just stopped, he short of breath. He said, The rabbi said <laughs> that sometimes it's best to talk to yourself. Is your name Wine Reb? So, <laughs> so I said, Yeah, my name is Wine Reb, but maybe the rabbi means a different Wine Reb. So he says, No, if the rabbi says talk to Wine Reb, you got to talk to Wine Reb. So I thanked him very much uh, because I did talk to myself and um, I don't know, I, I, it helped, <laughs> it helped. Obviously, since 1971, I've had many, many <laughs> questions about many, many different things. And unfailingly, whenever I have any kind of question, even if it's, if it's a question in, in halacha, or a question in, you know, should I learn this mesechta this month or that mesechta, whatever, or if it's a deeper question about shiduchim, shiduchim my family, my own personal decisions, before I speak with anybody else, I have, uh, I put myself aside some time and I study something to do with the Rebbe, Lakute Sichis, or something uh, to kind of connect again. And I think about it myself and I listen to my, whatever you want to call it, my inner voice. Uh, I call it, and, and uh, it's, it's very, very helpful. And I've encouraged other people, you know, before you go asking this and that other person, whoever it is, a Rebbe, a Rav, First, talk to yourself. Let's listen to what you have to say about it. Sometimes that's the best, uh, the best answer.